Hello Mila, hello Jack. Hello anyone else who's watching. Today's story is from the Adventures of Mog and it's Mog and the Baby. One day Mog was playing with Nicky. Debbie was going to school, Mr Thomas was going to work, but Nicky had a cold. Mog and Nicky played Catch the String, then they played Bad Dogs, then they played Tickle Mog's Tummy, and then they played Ball. Suddenly they heard a noise. It was a crying noise. It was a very loud crying noise. Mrs Thomas said, look who's here. Mrs Clutterbuck has bought us her baby. We're going to look after it for her while she goes shopping. The baby looked at Morg and stopped crying. It said, psss, instead. It's trying to say puss, said Mrs Thomas. Will my baby be all right with your cat, said Mrs Clutterbuck. Oh yes, said Mrs Thomas. Morg loves babies. But Mog and Nicky had to stop playing ball because the baby did not know how to play. I've got a very good idea, said Mrs Thomas. Let's take the baby for a ride in a pram. The baby liked riding in the pram. It said, Psss. I've got a baby in my pram too, said Nicky. Mog said nothing, but she was not happy. When they came back, it was lunchtime, but the baby didn't want to eat his lunch. It said, psss, instead. It said, psss, and cried. It cried so much that Mog did not want to eat her lunch either. She went away and sat in her basket. She sat in her basket and tried to think of other things while Mrs Thomas and Nicky cleared the dishes. The baby found a dish to clear too. Look what it's done, said Nicky. Oh dear, said Mrs Thomas. Perhaps the baby would like a rest. But the baby did not want a rest. It said pss, pss, pss. It said pss and cried. It wants Mog, said Mrs Thomas. Will Mog be all right with the baby, asked Nicky. Oh yes, said Mrs Thomas. Mog loves babies. Mog sat in her basket and the baby stopped crying. It was nice and quiet. When the baby stopped crying, it was so quiet that Mog fell asleep. She had a dream. It was a lovely dream. It was a dream about babies. Suddenly she woke up. Mog thought, this baby is everywhere. She thought, I'm getting out. Mog ran across the road. But the baby was coming after her. And a bad dog was waiting on the other side. And there was a car coming. There's my baby, shouted Mrs Clutterbuck. There's Mog, shouted Debbie. There's only one way to go, thought Mog. And she jumped. She jumped away from the dog. She jumped away from the car. She bumped into the baby. The baby flew through the air and came down on the pavement. It said, Psss. Mr Thomas stopped the car just in time. My baby, oh my baby, said Mrs Clutterbuck. It's a silly baby, said Nicky. It shouldn't have run into the road. Mog saved it, said Debbie. She is a very brave cat, said Nicky. She's the bravest cat in the world. She's a baby-saving cat, and she should have a reward. They all went to get Mog a reward. It was a very big reward. It was a reward from Mrs Clutterbuck. Mog saved my baby from being run over, said Mrs Clutterbuck. I told you, said Mrs Thomas. Mog loves babies. The end. Bye-bye, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. See you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.